I'm sorry, y'all. I had to do that real quick. Um, like I said, haven't done a video in a while, so all of these videos should carry you into next week, okay? Like my baby doll face Barbie. I probably won't be able to do a video at all next week. At all. Because that's work. All fucking week. Monday through fucking Friday. Plus, I'm working on four mixtapes, as I said in my previous video. And, um, yeah. I just want to go ahead. I talked about this last night on my Ustream channel. But, I want to go ahead and talk about it also on my YouTube channel. Now, some of y'all know I decided to give Nicki Minaj a chance. And that's cool, because I caught a couple of her songs that I actually fuck with, you feel me? But, this Kim Nikki beef, I'm going to go ahead and say how I feel, because I'm kind of stuck in the middle. Like I said, I just started getting used to Nikki. But at the same time, to me, it just seems like a lot, I like some of the songs that Kim was talking about, I wasn't even paying attention to. Like, those are songs I didn't even fuck with. But... After listening to them, I don't even fucking remember the names of the songs. But after going back and listening to the songs, like, low-key, Nikki, you've been hella disrespectful since you came in the motherfucking game. Like, you come in the game thinking you, you, you fucking own shit. Like, we owe you something. We don't owe you shit. Hold, hold the fuck up. Before I go into that, let me say this. If any female rapper got offended by itty bitty piggy, you're fucking redundant. That's first and foremost. You're redundant as shit. She did not single handedly kill every bitch in the rap game. Cause I happen to know for a fact I'm not dead yet. I'm still going like. So that's that's number one. Number two, she's not that great of a rapper. I'm just gonna put it out there. Like I said, it's a couple of her songs where she actually went hard on and I fucks with them. I fucks with your love. I fucks with getting paid. I fucks with motherfucking um, girlfriend. I fucks with those songs, you feel me? But at the end of the day, Nikki is still not up to par. You feel me? She's subpar compared to Lil' Kim. And Lil' Kim has every right to be angry right now. Like, like Lil' Kim said in her other interview, I always keep my ears to the streets. Like, motherfuckers don't understand. I hear shit even when you think I don't hear it. Even when I don't come out and say I hear it, I still hear it. Like, Nikki, you can't just come out the woodworks and say, I just single-handedly annihilated every bitch in a rap game. No, you didn't, because it's still hoes, it's, it's still motherfucking bitches out here doing it. Like, still on they shit. The only reason you're in the fucking rap game right now, the only reason you're mainstream, is because you got ass implants and a nose job. I really hate to say that to some of you Nikki stands, but it's the truth. If if Nikki was still looking as rough as she was before, Nikki would have never made it in the rap game. You for real? They would have never let Nikki Minaj in the motherfucking rap game looking the way she used to. Granted, she was beautiful. Don't get me wrong. When before all the plastic surgery, Nikki Minaj was immaculate. She was beautiful. She had natural beauty. Now you don't have to motherfucking rely on your lyrics anymore because what? You got a fat ass? Oh, wow, you paid for it, bitch. We all know. You ain't fucking slick. Your ass did not used to be that big. Don't try to play me like I'm stupid, bitch. I know your booty fake. We all know your booty fake. Shit. At least Kim was real about having her surgically enhanced just a little bit. Shit. And some of y'all niggas, some of y'all niggas and bitches... Wanna, wanna scream, oh, it's Team Nikki all day. Fuck motherfucking Lil' Kim. She old and dusty. I don't give a fuck how old Lil' Kim is. I don't give a fuck what Lil' Kim has done to her face. Lil' Kim will always be motherfucking Queen B, regardless what anybody fucking says. And Nikki really needs to stop motherfucking being on that shit and really stop and pay homage. She's not paying homage. She's not. And if anybody, if anybody says she did pay homage, you's a fucking liar. You's a fucking liar. It's been plenty of times. We done seen plenty of Nicki Minaj interviews. We done heard plenty of Nicki Minaj songs. Not once have we heard Lil' Kim get shouted out. Nigga, you acting like you created that black Barbie shit. You acting like you just the baddest bitch in the game. Lil' Kim, Foxy Brown, they the original bad bitches in the game, bitch. Get your, get your shit straight. The original bad bitches in the game. Not Trina. Not Kaya. 
Big up to Kaya, though, because Kaya's a real bitch. I fucks with Kaya. But not Trina, not Kaya, not Nicki Minaj, not Lil Mama. No, the original bad bitches of the 90s, motherfucker. The bitches that came out in motherfucking heels and mini skirts. Like, nigga, it's cool to be sexy and be a roughneck. Foxy Brown and Lil Kim, the two originals, nigga. Not Jackie O's whack ass. Not, like I said, motherfucking Nicki Minaj's whack ass. Not motherfucking Lil Mama's motherfucking irrelevant ass. None of them. It was Foxy Brown and motherfucking Lil' Kemp. And big up to my biggest influence, dog. Motherfucking Lady of Rage, my nigga. We need females like Lady of Rage back in the game. Lady of Rage, MC Light, Roxanne Shantae, MC Light. I already know I already said her name, but fuck it. She one of the best. Nigga, um, what the fuck, Lauren Hill, nigga, you fucking shitting me, nigga, we need more people like that back in the game. Maybe then, the female rap game wouldn't be so fucked up. Seriously. Come on now. Missy Elliott, where the fuck you at? We need an album, cause, um, I'm sick of hearing these, I'm, I'm sick of hearing the queen battle a motherfucking biter, nigga. I'm sick of seeing the queen argue with a fucking ankle biter. That's exactly what the fuck is going on here. Point blank fucking period. Diddy, you should be ashamed of yourself for even thinking you can motherfucking create another big camp. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why would you even, why would that shit even come out of your mouth, Brody? Shut the fuck up. Diddy, your irrelevant ass ain't none of your shit hot. You trying to make yourself seem more relevant than the fuck you are, nigga. Are you fucking serious, nigga? Get the fuck out of here, nigga. Hip hop is more than what you, what the fuck you doing, Diddy? You and dirty money. Fuck you and dirty money. Fucking whack ass, dirty money, it's that dirty money. Nigga, don't nobody give a fuck about dirty money. Don't nobody give a fuck about dirty money. And with that being said, I'm gonna shut the fuck up.